Test, test, one, two, one, two. Shoe up, a shoe be do. <clears throat> You're not the best backup vocalist I ever had. Ah, uh, it's not my job. You got a fresh haircut back there. Let me see. Turn to the side. Okay, all right. Turn to that side. Not too bad. Hello and welcome to the workshop. Thank you for stopping by. We appreciate you very, very much. If you are new to the channel, you have not already done so, consider subscribing, especially if you like sneakers or love sneakers even because Buckets, we upload a lot of sneaker videos around these parts. For sure. So define a lot. Almost every single day. Elaborate on it a little. Almost every single day. Okay, you got your line, you're sticking to it. Yeah. I respect it. You can also find me on Twitter, Instagram, and TikTok when I am not in this crevasse of sneaker boxes. You can find me on those other platforms. If you enjoyed today's video, please hit that thumbs up button. Really does go a long way, helps the channel continue to grow, lets us know what type of content you wanna see, et cetera, et cetera. Buckets, I believe you call that a win-win. That's what they call it. Last but not least, uncivilizedstore.com. I thought you were gonna hit me with your same line again almost every single day. Um, UncivilizedStore.com, Bucket who is behind the camera, and myself, we have a clothing brand. That is where we sell said clothing. We got some really cool pieces on the website right now, so we will put a link in the description of this video for your convenience. Whew, that was a lot. The breath control is just stupendous. It's pretty good. All right, I think that's it. We diving in? Yep. Three, two, one, bang, bang. This is the Nike Blazer Mid 77 Jumbo. These are available as we speak and retail is $115. The reason I wanted to review this sneaker is for, well, a couple different reasons, because I'm not even really a blazer guy. If you tune in regularly, you might know that about me. But one, 115 bucks is an incredible price point. And I think sometimes we get so caught up in paying these resale prices or forget about resale prices, even higher retail price points. I mean, buckets, we just reviewed the Yeezy Turtle Dove re-release. 230 bucks just retail wise. That's twice as much as this sneaker. And I mention it because I get a ton of messages all the time, buckets, you do too. Probably one of the most frequent messages that we get Yo, I have a hundred bucks or I have 150 bucks. What's a cool sneaker I can buy? Number one, whatever sneaker you think looks cool is cool. It's as simple as that. It doesn't have to be hyped up. It doesn't have to be some limited exclusive pair that you gotta do cartwheels and backflips through, okay? It doesn't have to be that. But I also feel that as far as having a set dollar amount to spend on a pair of sneakers. Like back in the day, buckets, we had to, go get fly at Marshall's at a secondhand store. You know, you had to kind of make do on a budget. Big time. Right? I mean, all the expensive stuff, expensive stuff, I guess that's relative. It was out of the question. So I say all that to say there are lower price point options out there. We mention it here and there. I don't know. Maybe I mention it frequently, Buckets. Somewhat frequently. Somewhat frequently. I just want people to know there are lower price point options and you can still get jiggy you know whether it be the air force one or the nike dunk or a sneaker like the blazer so 
Just keep that in mind. I'm just throwing that out there. And there is a second point I want to make, but I realize I'm starting to ramble a little bit. Buckets, I, I you know, I get on these, what's the word? Not a tirade, because that, that, that would be like aggressive energy. Yeah. Uh, it's not a TED talk, because it's not thought out well enough. Yeah. Uh, you're ranting. Okay, it's a rant. I was looking for a spicier word. Let's run through the details, and then I'll rant, tirade, TED talk a little bit afterwards. I like these more than I normally like blazers because they're a little bit sleeker, a little bit more of a slender look. They've used some different materials and features to make that happen. You've got a really nice leather running along the bottom of the sneaker. You've got a little bit here on the front as well. And also running along the eyelets. Gray suede on the toe with that orange Frankenstein stitching nylon tongue with the pull tab in the middle. I do kind of wish that pull tab wasn't blocking the classic vintage-esque Nike tag that's in the front here because I just love that Nike branding. You've got a little bit more Frankenstein stitching down each side and you've got the exposed foam edges as well. And a detail that I really like, I have a feeling some people might hate it, especially because it's not true to the original, but this corduroy-esque elastic type material around the ankle. It kind of gives it that sleeker feel, and I just really like the way it looks, honestly. You've got a leather pull tab on the heel as well, more of that zigzag stitching, and the most prominent feature or the boldest feature on the sneaker is of course the jumbo swoosh in that classic nike orange i love it personally that extra husky swoosh especially because i've always thought blazers looked way too big on my feet i wear a size 13 and i just feel like they look like boats when i wear them this oversized swoosh also helps make the sneaker look a little smaller not quite as long just a little sleeker and you know maybe i'm a little self-conscious about my feet looking too big okay so i like the couple different changes basically what this is 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 the old school classic blazer with a new twist for sure so i can kind of see like if you love that classic blazer look how you're like damn they kind of ruined it with the modern updates leave that old school architecture as is yeah don't go in trying to revamp anything but for me a guy who's never really been a classic blazer guy too much i kind of i don't know i enjoy i appreciate the modernized version as do I. That's pretty much the sneaker. I mean, you've got the extra chunky laces. You've got a super thick midsole and the plain Jane outsole. <laughs> nothing really too fancy, nothing else to really mention. To me, these have a very off-white vibe to them that probably goes without saying that's the first thing i thought of when i saw this sneaker and you know i've talked about it for years at this point the impact that virgil has had in sneakers and that's not like some kind of hot take you can see it everywhere across different brands his influence it's just spread throughout sneakers and throughout fashion you can especially see it in a lot of nike sneakers like this one so rest in peace to virgil definitely a goat but you really can in buckets. It is something we've talked about, so I won't harp on it, but you definitely see his vibes, his details in a lot of these sneakers that we are buying today in 2022. And I guess that's the other thing I wanted to mention. You can look at that two ways. Oh, Nike shouldn't mess with that aesthetic. They shouldn't take those characteristics and apply them to another sneaker. But the truth of the matter is, and this kind of loops back in to the price point, Buckets, an off-white blazer. What do you think they go for? A thousand bucks. Yeah, 1500. I even saw sizes 2000 bucks, depending on the colorway, depending on the size. They're very, very expensive. For the normal person, for a normal kid trying to get a pair of sneakers for school, that's just, that's pretty unobtainable. Buckets, what would, what would Mom Duke say to you if you said, say you're going into the ninth grade, okay. starting high school, you're feeling good, you got the mullet is prepped in the back, you know? It's got just a little bit of hairspray dripping off. Okay, I'm not into that. Yeah, you've I've... never been a hairspray guy. Okay, all, you know, all natural. Yeah. Okay, and you say, hey, Ma, how you doing? All right, she's packing the gabagool in the lunchbox. Okay. 
all right, gonna embarrass you on your first day, and you say, Ma, I need a pair of sneakers. Only catch is they cost fifteen hundred. She would say no. What would she, what would she what would she give you instead? <laughs> a thirty dollar pair of sneakers. Yeah. And so that's the point I'm trying to make is that basically, and you see it no matter no matter what. If Nike, because this is a Nike, right? If Nike has a really successful collaboration or partnership, whether it be Virgil or Travis Scott or whether it be you know, something that they just do in line, but it has a lot of success, right? We saw it also with the Sakai's. Yep. You get that lower tier price point that sometimes people don't like, but it's a lot more widely available. And I do think it's important to have different price points when you're a sneaker brand. That's all I'm trying to say. Yeah, I agree with that. So I'm a fan of it. I've never been a blazer guy, but I am kind of a fan of these. I'm a fan of some of the aspects of these. Scale of one to 10, I'm giving them a seven and a half. Okay. Which is for, I'm just, that is a pretty good rating for me for a blazer. The only blazer I might've given a better score than that was, remember, I can't think of, I'm going blank on the- The one's the Hollow's Eve? Yeah, the Hollow's Eve, it was that one. That nice tan with the orange, that was a really, really good colorway. Uh, again, shouts to Virgil. Scale of one to 10, what are you giving them? I'm going five. I don't like that score. Right in the middle. Five out of 10. What aspects do you like? What don't you like? Keep it concise. I like that they look kind of spicy for a $115 sneaker. They do, right? You know what I mean? Like you can feel good in these. Yeah. So I like that, but I don't like the blazer. You're not a blazer guy. So. I feel like the blazer matches your vibe, but you're, just, no, you're not, not at all. Them. Not at all. I don't know, dude. I, I do. It's an old, it's an old school vintage retro kind of look. Do you agree with that? For sure. Your, your whole face is vintage retro. I mean, you wear fanny packs. Granted, it's not on the face. I guess you could. You have the mullet. You've got the crazy, like, Tom Selleck mustache. Thank you. He's got a great mustache. Um, No, I, I don't like that they're high top. If they were low top, maybe? A low top blazer. But a low top blazer is, like, not really a blazer anymore, in my opinion. Yeah, that's more like a canoe. Okay, fair enough. Leave a comment below. Let us know how do you feel about this modernized version of the blazer what are your thoughts on the different price points how do you feel about the overall aesthetic the colorway what's another sneaker leave a comment below what's another sneaker for right around that hundred dollar range that you would recommend to somebody that's a dope pair of sneakers uh always love to hear from you thank you for watching you are very very appreciated we will be back tomorrow manana same time same place right here at the workshop with a brand new thing for your head top i got nothing else buckets anything from you nope adios